uh, foreign disinformation having an impact on the election. Yet rather than uh, creating fake news, uh, it seems as if Russia has simply used uh, uh, state-controlled news outlets to basically push President Trump's own statements and lies about a rigged election. Our adversaries don't, don't, don't have to be uh, technologically advanced. Our adversaries don't have to be creative to sow that doubt. All they have to do is air the words of American elected officials on their state-owned news networks. As Clint Watts said, he's a former FBI agent and a disinformation uh, expert put it, which I think is very strong, and he said, quote, nothing that Russia or Iran or China could say is anywhere near as wild as what the president is saying, end of quote. So how, your, my question is, how are our foreign adversaries taking advantage of false claims of broad election fraud by the president and uh, his supporters or hearings like we're hearing here? We're hearing uh, these uh, statements again that are broadly claiming systemic irregularities where, where none exist. How damaging is that? So I, talking about rumor control very briefly, I think that that was an innovation in government that we created on the fly to address some emerging threats. The point, though, that I'd like to highlight with rumor control is that it was intended to uh, identify and debunk issues as they were emerging. And we saw domestic disinformation campaigns of a cybersecurity nature that were emerging in the days and weeks following the election. I'll specifically talk about the hammer and scorecard claims that there was a CIA supercomputer in the, the country, in, in, in Georgia specifically. But again, I and you know, Chairman Johnson, I, I I'm going to keep coming back to it. That's why it's so important to have a paper trail. That's why it's so important to have paper ballots. So even if there was foreign interference of a you know malicious algorithm nature, you can always go back to the receipts. You can check your math. And Georgia did that three times, and the outcomes were consistent over and over and over again. Famous Which, by the way, is precisely why I brought that up in my opening statement. That should provide comfort that we have that paper backup. But I just have to talk about Russian disinformation because the people peddling it are not on my side of the aisle. Senior Democrat leaders, including ranking member Peters, you know, were involved in a process of creating a false intelligence product that was supposed to be classified. They leaked to the media that accused Senator Grassley, the president pro tem of the Senate, and myself of accepting and disseminating Russian disinformation from Andrei Durkash. I'd never heard of the person until they brought it up. Senator Peters introduced that, direct, that false information, Russian disinformation, into our investigation record. Fifty people associated with the intelligence community during the, our, after our Hunter Biden investigation and the revelations of the Hunter Biden computer said, oh, this is, you know, this is Russian disinformation. Now we find out well, it's a real investigation by the Justice Department. So it's, it's just galling. And I just have to point out that the purveyors of Russian disinformation, Hillary Clinton's campaign, the DNC, the Steele dossier, the ranking member Peters accusing Senator Grassley and I of disseminating uh, Russian disinformation, that's where the disinformation is coming. That's where the false information, the, the lies, the false allegations. I can't sit by here and listen to this and say that this is, this is not disinformation, this hearing today. This is getting information we have to take a look at to restore confidence in our election integrity. We, we're not going to be able to just move on without bringing up these irregularities, examining them, and providing an explanation and see where there really are problems so we can correct it moving forward. Senator Paul. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I got to respond to that. I mean, you're saying I'm putting out Try. information. Well, one, I did had nothing to do with this report. You, you lied repeatedly. I did not you lied this. repeatedly in the press that I was spreading Russian, dis Russian disinformation, and that was an outright lie, and I told you to stop lying, and you continue to do it. Mr. Chairman, this is not about airing your grievances. I, know what, I don't know what rabbit hole you're running down. You right talked now. about you Russian disinformation. Rabbit holes. Senator Paul. This is simply...